Hello and welcome to the ultimate paperweight, the BMW, because it is broken again. And I'm taking it to the shop on this freezing cold morning again. Now you might be thinking, oh, but Bert, I can clearly see that you're driving the car. How is it broken? How is it a paperweight? Well, let me tell you because it's story time. So if you watched my last video, and if you didn't, I'll have a link somewhere over here to that last video. I just had my 60,000 mile service on this car. Now, one of the things I did with that service was a coolant flush. So what happened after I did that service was I pretty much went to pick the car up. I drove it straight to work. And then from work, I drove it home. So on my drive home from work, I had a little warning pop up saying that I have low coolant in the car. So I'm like, okay, it's probably not that big of a deal. You know, maybe when they did the flush, they just didn't top it off 100% to where it needs to be. No problem, I'll top it off uh, next time I drive the car. What's the big deal? So Friday, I take the car out and I go because I need to get distilled water. So I tried to go get water and very shortly, I get a check engine light. And now I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Here we go, our first official check engine light on the M2, here we go. How expensive is this one gonna be? So naturally, I'm thinking it's related to the coolant. So I'm not really too panicked. I'm like, okay, maybe the car's not really telling me, okay, you gotta, you gotta look into this, all right? We've had, we've had the warning for a little bit, now you gotta go and fix it. Okay, no problem. It started to get a sound from the front, which was a little concerning, the uh, fan. So the radiator fan was blowing out like full blast. I'm like, what is going on? So okay, fine, I pull the car over, I let it sit for a minute, I turn it off turn it back on everything seems okay I still have the check engine light but all right let's let's keep driving home luckily we weren't that far away it was only like five minutes so we got home no problem of course the first thing I want to check is the coolant because I just drove the car I didn't want to start opening the cooling cap I don't know how hot the car really was so all right we'll let the car sit so I let the car sit for a day I come back the next day and I look under the car and there's a giant puddle. So I'm, oh, here, here we go. Now I'm leaking something onto my driveway. It's probably coolant because what else would it be? So I top up the coolant and I plug in my little reader. So I plug that in, I get the code, I look into it, everything seems fine. I reset it, delete it, and everything looks to be A-OK -okay back to normal. So then I go and look in the, in the engine bay and there is coolant everywhere again. Well, there was coolant the first time I opened it to top it off, but I'm looking and I see that there's still a lot of coolant. So, okay, I start cleaning it up and there's this one spot. I'll show you the video. I clean it up and then it just appears, more of it appears. I clean it up and more of it appears. So it just, it just keeps coming. We found the source. So it looks like it, the issue initially was the bleeder screw for when they do coolant flushes. Okay, fine. Clean that off we tighten it everything looks to be a-okay so I go for another drive because that's what else you do you go for a test drive right so I go for another test drive so far so good and then a couple minutes later what pops up on my dash if not my wonderful message that says like come on I just fixed the leak and I have low coolant again so I bring the car back home again and I'm looking, I'm trying to find the issue and I can't find it. It's not leaking onto my driveway anymore. I don't see anything blatantly obvious. So now at this point, I pretty much just gotta bring the car into a shop. That brings us to today. So I am now bringing the car back to be looked at again. Now I suspect it is probably the cooling cap, which is a known issue in BMWs that they tend to fail over time and uh, cooling will evaporate through them. That's a known issue. I suspect that might be the problem here. Or another known issue, less common, but nonetheless I've seen a couple threads on the forums and on Reddit and stuff of this, is the whole reservoir tank. Luckily the reservoir tank isn't really all that expensive, it's like $100 maybe. So worst case scenario, if I have to replace that, it's really not that big of a deal. It's easy to get to, no problem. Yeah, so I'm gonna have the shop take a look at that and we'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens. So I will keep you updated. I'm driving there now. I probably won't finish this video for a couple days until I actually get the car. Yeah, this car, it sits in the shop more than it does on the road at this point, and it's pretty sad. Uh, BMW, the ultimate paperweight. On the bright side though, you notice I'm not wearing my hat because I actually got my hair done. I actually did my hair, I got a haircut, and uh, yeah, I actually put a little bit of effort into my appearance for once. And you know, it's funny because I have someone in my family who's a hairdresser, 
So you would think that I'm always on top of my hair and I always have my hair looking good, but no, no, it's quite the opposite. That's the good news. For now, I'm gonna cut this video here and we will see pretty much what is going on with the car once we have an update as to what is going on with the car. What's going on? All right, so we have the M2 back from the shop. We figured out what the issue was. It is now fixed, it is fully running. I have the M2 right in front of me. I'm gonna flip the camera, I'm gonna show you what happened, what was done, and how much it was to fix it. All right, so here we have the M2. Right here, you can see the residue from all the coolant that just kind of sprayed everywhere here, some here. I kind of cleaned up most of this. You can see some of the streaks. This was kind of the problem. So initially, in the first video you saw, the bleeder screw was where a lot of the stuff was leaking, and it was kind of making its way down in here, and every time I went to try to clean it up, more kind of pooled up, and that's why on the driveway, you could see my Subaru's parked right there at the moment. But under the driveway, you had that massive, massive pool. What they did at the shop was they replaced the screw and they replaced this cap. So when they tested it, the, the pressure was within spec, but they saw steam coming out from around this cap. So this part was replaced along with this. This is intact, nothing happened with this. This didn't need to be replaced. And yeah, they topped it off, went for a test and everything is now fine and A-OK -okay with the M2. So now let me break over, break apart how much it costs. Yeah, it's pretty sad. When you look at my glove box, all you see are just like receipts and pavers from, from its services that were done. So what it cost me was $115. So the diagnostic uh, test drive and all that stuff came to $75. The expansion tank cap was 27 bucks, which is pretty straightforward. You can buy them yourself and replace them for, I don't know, to save a couple bucks, you can maybe find them for like $25. And the bleeder screw was $379. So grand total, $115 and some change. Pretty straightforward, something I could have done myself for just basically $30 and replaced them myself. But because I didn't know if it was an expansion tank issue, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna bring it to the shop, let them handle, let them deal with it and just pay what it came out to be. So we can pretty much add that 115 to our total ownership cost of this car, which one day when I sell this car, if I ever sell this car, which inevitably one day I will, we can add that to kind of the cost of ownership. So luckily this one turned out not to be all that expensive. Yeah, that's it for, for this one, I guess. So I just want to document again, what happened with the car. It's first check engine light that at least I'm aware of in my ownership. And just kind of let you guys know, hey, this is an issue I had, could be something that happens on your end too. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you had similar issues, please comment on them. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos and that's all I got for now. So the BMW and I thank you for watching. Until next time.